Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, uh, Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saiken and today we're looking at Operation Manic Hydra. Uh, the Codex Brain coordinates are our next mission and we're up against 17 enemies. This is a must-win mission so that we can keep our really, really strict timeline. We want to get to the gate, essentially uh, free it up and um, get whatever uh, research we can uh, receive out of it. That's why we just cannot afford to wait at all. Biggest problem that I'm seeing is the enemy unknown here. I read up a little bit um, on the Codex Brain coordinates and initially I thought that uh, that would be the gatekeeper, but it's probably chrysalids. Uh, enemy unknown can be chrysalids and gatekeeper, so there are not multiple enemy unknowns. Uh, so we can't rule out that besides vipers and codex, there uh, could be theoretically uh, additional chrysalids, which is why I have uh, prepared and invested some of our funds into a couple of med kits. We're going in with uh, two uh, specialists because this is going to be pretty much a slug of a, um, of a mission. I am considering to maybe go with two grenadiers instead of two snipers. It's probably the better idea. Let me just change that real quick. All right, so we um, are now going in with two grenadiers, two um, specialists. The specialists may need to have enough um, healing power and sustain the grenadiers so um, we can deal with the vipers. Got an, uh, our incendiary grenade here. Uh, we got an option to deal uh, with the um, gatekeeper and its massive armor. Um, let's hope there are not more enemies that need our attention. We got uh, one flashbang grenade and one mimic beacon and that's pretty much it unfortunately here we go all right guys we just landed uh, this is definitely going to be a banger of a mission it's not a timed mission but i fear that we're going to be in a world of pain uh, the cool part about it is we got desert tiles. I love desert tiles and I think I've never done this mission on a desert tile. I've done it a lot of times. So that's awesome. Totally love it. I go what I'm Let's start checking out what we're dealing with. All right, that's a viper. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, two vipers, two, three vipers, two codices. Good, we got 19, uh, 17 overall. Fortunately, we have no high ground here. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. And we have a massive tree in the way. So let's try to take solid positions over here. A couple of cars that we could maybe remote start. Rolling. Moving to designated position. And our specialists partially need to actually take frontline ish positions. Good, so the Vipers are starting to move away, which is fine. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. That is bad. Okay, so we got a second one. Third one. Fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Yeah, we know there is one chrysalid here. 
and a lot of a lot of potential uh, chrysalids like right behind this sort of stream here and here are also chrysalids. Well, fun fact about the chrysalids is you could theoretically get them out of their hiding spot. The other fun fact about them is if I were to, uh, if I was to move, they do have tremor sense. So even in a uh, even with our uh, hidden form, uh, with our stealth that the um, Reaper offers, they would spot them out. So they are kind of the natural nemesis of basically any form of stealth. Flashbang should get them out, but I, I would probably like to keep the flashbang. Uh, can't really get too much closer. Certainly don't want to break concealment now. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we can't spot them out because we do not have any means to do so. Not at this point. We know that he's basically lying there and just waits. This here is not close enough to trigger it. And this here should get him out of his hiding spot. Don't like wasting grenades, but I really have no other way of getting them out. And chrysalids are nasty, very, very nasty. You just, you just don't want uh, them to get anywhere close to your position. All right, tank moves up. And that's a kill. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we got the first chrysalid taken care of. Putting a couple more Overwatch um, Overwatches in here. Oh, that's a bad sign, guys. Yeah. Well, isn't that effing fantastic? Perfect. We got ourselves a real battle. So he can summon um, beasts immune to melee, which is irrelevant for us. Regeneration, that is pretty relevant for us. Close range attacks, pretty irrelevant for us. And skirmishers, we don't have any. Well, fantastic. That's the type of extra enemy that you do want to have on one of the hardest and most gruesome missions. All right, missed that one shot. And we barely avoided triggering another p uh, pack. Well, that's a good start. Can we hit two of them with an incendiary grenade? No. Because we do not yet have advanced 
um, advanced rocket launcher uh, launchers, advanced granite throwers, which means we cannot hit two of them. Let's start to do our best in uh, chipping them down. It's a nice hit right there. So we got a Viper that is burning. By thinking about it, um, this is probably the right play. That's probably the right play. Um, just to hedge our uh, all, um, bets here, let's put an aid protocol on our Reaper. If the grenade uh, takes away the tree, uh, the Reaper might be in trouble. Good, next up. Got ourselves a solid kill here. Reloading. Just to optimize our action economy, you always want to reload if your position is good and you're just taking a shot. It's 100% kill due to the advanced stock, which by the way pays a lot of dividends in this run. Alright, so moving up. We got a 100% kill there, which we are gladly taking. So that's another Viper down. I do not want to take that shot. Instead, we're going to take this shot here, which is also 100% kill, because even if it misses, like it currently did, well, it was dodged, it didn't really miss, but even though it missed, uh, it only dealt two points of damage, it still takes damage from the burning, which is a secured kill. Perfect. So, we got three Vipers down, plus one... Um, Chrysalid, uh, which is a decent start, I would say. I'm on the move. I wouldn't charge after them for now. Instead, what we're going to do is We're slowly but surely moving, and then when everyone is safe, we're simply going to reload a bit. This here is just for scouting purposes. Overwatch, reload, yeah, let's reload. We're basically reloading everyone. With uh, so little damage output, we might find ourselves in a situation where we cannot um, where we cannot kill the enemies in one turn. And a shot, an overwatch, and another shot already means that your magazine is empty. So many newer players underestimate the importance of keeping your weapon freshly loaded. Ammunition definitely plays an important role. So we know that the hunter can't see us, which is great. 
The reason why I know that is he does not have line of sight and that again we can now uh, kind of abuse the engine a little bit here uh, and what I mean with that is just yeah apply our game knowledge. The hunter will start with uh, his tracking shots basically the moment that a chrysalid is in range so that it could spot us out. It, even if it's borrowed it will provide squad side and once uh, the hunter has squad side he will start taking uh, tracking shots. So what we're now going to do is a bit tedious but it's the only thing that I can do with the, uh, the equipment that I'm given um, is we're going to slowly but surely uh, start to move closer in an overwatch crawl until the point where he is going to do a tracking shot. Which obviously is not yet. Being a bit careful here. And let's move to the front line. Whenever you can help it, try to do blue moves. In this particular case, since we're having such a lack of cover. I'm actually going to do a lot of yellow moves. Good, we're keeping a tight formation. Normally I would spread out and just use the cover to our advantage. The problem is with the chrysalis that that uh, tactic just doesn't fly you're eventually going to run into one of them and that's going to hurt you. Still no tracking shot. Okay, good enough. So he does have a med kit, uh, which means we're going to let him take the point. If we were to spot out the chrysalid, he would um, not get poisoned. Medkits provide immunity to poison, and that's why we uh, brought them with us in the first place. Good. It's going to be the slow overwatch crawl now. I apologize, not the most sexy gameplay, but it's the only thing that you can do. So maybe it's a, a good lesson for those of you who need to deal with chrysalids that are borrowed and don't have measures against it. The ones that are way more effective, of course, would be uh, battle scanners, uh, which definitely are a lifesaver in this particular mission. Having two of them available just makes it so much easier. Scanning protocol. Um, if you can help it, it's a fantastic investment. Yeah, I think that there's one here and one over here. But unfortunately I can't prove it. Well, I could prove it by walking in, right? All right, still keeping a tight formation, as you can see. Core idea is to just keep Overwatches ready whenever possible. And there we go. That's going to be the next pack triggered. They will first run into cover, which gives us options to continue damaging them, and afterwards uh, they will clone. Unfortunately for us, we have hit both, which now means that both of them will also clone. Well, that stinks. And he's finally having line of sight. He's loving it. And there's the tracking shot. Of course, on our sniper. OK, 
Okay, do we have an option out? Uh, yes, we do. But the only option out into cover is over here. Not a very nice uh, position. But then again, we do not have the luxury of being picky. Could move over here. I'm highly concerned that that's going to trigger a chrysalid. This here is a lower likelihood of triggering a chrysalid. It's a nice little flanking position. Let's do this. All right, worked out. There we go. That's that was good. Let's see. So we can push and try to kill Codex over here. Even if we do not hit, it's going to deal two points of damage. Luckily, we were hitting. That in return prompts the question, What? how are we going to get there? Ah, this here. Well, you know what? We can... No, we can't. This here will be line of sight. We do have an advanced repeater, uh, an advanced stock. So this is 100% kill. Got to be very careful. And we're not going to poke the bear any further. Matter of fact, we're just going to overwatch. Highly likely that it's going to teleport and is going to use uh, the psionic bomb here on those two or on those two, uh, that will trigger a psionic feedback. Bringing it down to one hit point. And that in return will kill it next turn. We're definitely in a bit of a tight spot. Uh, we don't have too much maneuvering room. It might look like uh, a lot, but it actually is quite the opposite. And why I'm, uh, why I'm saying that is, if you think about it, um, we can't push too, uh, too much into this direction here. Because there could be chrysalids. So that's a natural border for us. And we want to move forward, but yet uh, the psionic bomb, etc., is making it just much harder on us. So yeah, not as much space as it might look like. I'm continuing to keep a tight formation, so we're moving over here, our sniper moves up and we're reloading, and then that's that. Technically, he shouldn't have any line of sight on anyone. There's another pack. The fact that he can tracking shot markers concerns me because it tells me there is another chrysalid somewhere here. Don't want to trigger him yet, which is the whole reason why we're not going to go in. We need ammunition.
we know he's the, uh, right there. So time to take a good full cover. Unfortunately, Spitfire here doesn't have that luxury. Not sure if this here would already trigger. It would not. Good. So almost everyone is in full cover. We reloaded and we're ready to engage uh, with the Chosen. If he so decides to come forward, um, we're even going to have a couple of overwatch shots. Well, never mind. Yet another pack. So that's three Vipers, one Chrysalid, that's four, two um, Codices, that's six, uh, two further Codices, that's eight. And we know that there is a Chosen right here. Let's try to hit those guys. That's the worst potential outcome. Heading there now. All right, so let's get rid of this codex here. Nice one, tail and rounds just killed it straight up. This is the gun with the advanced stock, perfect. Moving into the next full cover over here. That could be a kill, it is not. Moving up. Unfortunately, we do not have another stock. So that's an actual miss. I don't want to go too close. How far is that? Uh, that's pretty damn far. Not sure we haven't been here yet. I don't want to trigger a chrysalid. Question of the day, if we were to go into the open, would he take a shot or would he uh, use his psionic bomb? It's probably going for the shot. Nonetheless, it's still going to be the more f uh, efficient tactic because instead of fighting three codices, we're actually only going to fight one. We were a bit Unlucky. My life is in your hands. With hitting our shots. But yeah, overall, that's still the better choice. There is a chance uh, that the remaining Codex will not take its shot, but instead use Psionic Bomb. Psionic Bomb? Yeah, there you go. He just couldn't resist it. And that's 8 point of feedback damage.
This should not trigger anything. That's 100% kill, thanks to the stock. Alright, we got another 100% kill. No need to take chances when you can simply kill this guy. Sniper moves up here, I'm not sure about the exact range. It looks like both of these fields would have been um, clear, but I don't want to take any chances. Good. Reload. Move. Reload. Reload. Lots of reloading this turn. Alright, uh, the camera just zoomed over there, which is a strong, strong indication that there is a chrysalid. The fact that he still has line of sight is a very strong indication that there is a chrysalid over there. Good. Moving into a decent position where we can shoot something. Overwatch, reload for tank. Another overwatch for magic man. Vapor takes an overwatch and Spitfire also takes an overwatch. So we got ourselves a bit um, pushed uh, with the backs towards uh, the wall. Given that he definitely has tracking shots on us, means that there must be something over here. Our counterplay to that could be... ...to get close, but not too close, um, and just continue overwatching, which usually leads to the um, chrysalid uh, taking a rapid move at some point. That's Could be another chrysalid here, hard to tell. Very hard to tell. I don't want to blow up our cover at this point. So this is where it's a bit of a standstill. He has line of sight on us. And there's the chrysalid basically losing its temper. A couple of pretty solid hits there. Still moving, apparently. And damn you, Chrysalid. Damn you for still being able to reach us. I was actually, like, really, really careful. Overwatch trap. But sometimes that's just not enough. Healing ourselves. Luckily, there was no poison. This could be a kill. There you go. I hope you didn't wear yourself out on the lightweights. 
Good. Moving up. And we are continuing our movement. I'm pretty sure there is none here, so I am confident moving to this position. Hard to tell if we can really get uh, much closer. Let's be careful. Like I said, the stealth of uh, the Reaper really doesn't mean much in such a situation. Okay, well. He does not seem to have line of sight on us, which means uh, that there is not an immediate uh, threat. Perfect. Gives me con uh, confidence to advance. Alright, overwatch, reload, overwatch, reload, overwatch and reload. Half of the team overwatches and we're filling our magazines. So that's two chrysalids, four codices, um, three vipers, nine overall. And that chrysalid will now become a roamer. He has not yet um, aggroed on our position. What I want to do though is make sure that we will find it early enough. Because he already knows where we are. And they do have a surprising amount of movement. Good copy, moving on target. All right, nice one. Very nice hit. That was an awesome hit. Fortunately, our sniper can't see him. It, rather. Tired of waiting around. Moving up. Negative damage. <sighs> You gotta love it when that happens. I am at your service. Uh, that's not going to be a hundred percent chance to kill it. What we can do though is we could slow its movement if we could hit it with a flashbang grenade, which we cannot. So, Overwatch. Is that worth taking the shot? No, it's not. We need it for the harder enemies. This year would be two points of damage for sure. Might as well take it. Yep, that's two points of damage and now the sniper needs to hit. Come on. You failed me yet again. And there is the hit, plus the poisoning. Not what you would like to see. To add insult to injury, we're being 
tracking shotted. There's a nice little heal. Should have reloaded beforehand. That would have been a bit more efficient. Not sure if it's really just him. Pretty sure we're going to see a few more chrysalids. Yep, like I said, pretty sure we're going to see a couple more chrysalids. Might um, engage with us directly now. Yep, he is doing exactly that, and thanks to our Overwatch, he is taking quite a bit of damage. Nice. All right, couple of a uh, couple of rounds dazed. We definitely got to deal with that. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. Okay, so it is clear. let's do this somewhat efficiently. We're reviving tank. And revival protocol on Magic Man. So, what we need is another grenade. Hmm. All right, so he cannot do much anyways. Might as well take the shot. If it misses, we're going to take uh, give him a little bit of a beating, one point of damage. There's a Mimic Beacon, which we might need to draw. Frag Grenade, Acid Grenade. Okay, he still has both of his grenades. Yeah, I think we're going to reload and just use um, an incendiary Grenade. Should not be immune to that, so... There's a solid chance that he's going to start burning. Plus it shreds him, which was the whole point of it to begin with. No, we definitely don't want to uh, grapple up here. We already know there's another pack behind. Hmm, we want to use the Mimic Beacon. Probably will need to fall back 
just a tiny bit. Moving over here. I'm not yet going to use lightning hands. Because we can't kill him this turn. This here will not reveal us. We're moving away from here, I don't want to trigger a pack that's just coming around the corner. Are we going to use the Mimic Beacon? It's probably better against the... It's probably better against the Gatekeeper. Because even with the Mimic Beacon he could still summon his beasts, which there is a certain chance that he's going to do that. Yeah, we're just going to overwatch. That's a tough one. Unfortunately, we missed. The overwatch chances were better than uh, just accepting him being in full cover, though. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. It's nothing personal. If you don't take me down, you wow. ruin your legacy, Commander. Your medical. Stabilizing. That was a one shot right there. There's the revival protocol. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Gremlin. Healing tank. And we want to make sure that we get him just out of cover. Wow, yeah, well, that happens if you're approaching the Chosen too early. Moving a tiny bit back. Nice hit with the tail and rounds, that's good. Now is a good time for lightning hands. And that should be a kill. Oh wow. Lots of cooldowns that we have used. Just to get uh, to stay in the game here. Continuing to heal. Well... Good news, Chosen is gone, bad news, we are almost out of resources. So, let's see, we killed three chrysalids, killed four um, um, codices, that's seven, three vipers, that's ten. We killed the Chosen, that's eleven, so we're still six short, knowing that there is a pack moving around here.
promising. That's not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for first <laughs> Yeah, well, that's bad. compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic reading. We're green to go. We theoretically could take a shot at it, but that would be a bit suicidal. We might want to do an overwatch so that it actually triggers outside of our turn and then comes into our direction. Lots and lots and lots of Overwatch. If it moves, it will trigger the long watch. Well, or the Chrysalids are triggering the long watch. That's entirely possible as well. Or no one is because we missed. So one here, three here, one here, that's five. So that's almost the entirety. Of course, we have no remote start. On the move. Good, we're reloading. Just want to make sure that we're that we're having enough uh, ammunition. Here I come. No Overwatch. Problem. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. Pistol Overwatch. And yeah, theoretically we should be fine. Let's move just a tiny bit back. I don't want to be spotted out in the open and then find out that everyone starts hunting for me. All right, got a straggler over here, which is not too bad. I assume that he is too far away to charge us in one iteration. Which is why I would continue just staying here. No, nope, we don't want to do any of that. We're just doing a pistol overwatch so that there is no long, uh, long watch shenanigan happening. Reload Overwatch. So we're going to take out the one chrysalid first, and then we're somewhat trying to separate the other two packs. Oh, come on, hit him. For the love of God. <sighs> Doesn't matter how well I strategize, if no one is hitting anything with the Overwatch shots, then it just does not happen. Good, we need to shred him first. 
definitely going not going to outrun it, so there's no point in moving away or anything. Yep, no good. Luckily I decided to take the advanced stocks, because that way we're at least slowly but surely starting to wiggle it down. There we go, that's a hit. Alright, moving up. Oh, this should be 100% shot. Almost good enough. Okay, so that means... Uh, we got... Another pistol overwatch here. We got one more larger pack of chrysalids and the gatekeeper left. Well, unfortunately, we have already used our um, our claymore. Ready to go. So, Overwatch here. We're just reloading Wrath. It's not taking an overwatch. Magic man can overwatch. Paper moves in, overwatches, reload overwatch, and we're taking a long watch, which would trigger that one pack without triggering the... Um,